Hey guys, you're here with Tony at Boatronics. Uh, we're here on a 23 Parker. Um, it's uh, installation is underway of all the electronics, all kinds of goodies, Rodan system, lithium batteries, all kinds of good stuff. Uh, it's got a single uh, 300 Yamaha. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna show you guys real quick, let me get my camera situated here, uh, is we're gonna get rid of this uh you know classic style off one two or all switch get rid of that in favor of uh blue seas uh dual circuit switch uh the reason why we're going to do this is right now the customer has to play the uh, guessing game to get his uh house bank charged and we got a lot of gadgets going on this boat, so we want to make sure he has plenty of power at all times. So we're going to put in this dual circuit switch with an ACR, and this is going to give us a superior charging system. Uh, that, that way we always know that his starting battery is going to be 100%, and every little bit of juice uh, possible uh, available will go to the uh, house bank. So we're going to, I've already pulled this panel out. We're gonna set it down here on some paper towels so it doesn't get scratched up. Oh, there's a frog there, that's pretty cool. Um, I've, I've went ahead and labeled uh, most of these cables. A couple of these were, uh, we're not gonna keep. Um, so we're gonna uh, get rid of those, but most of these cables will be um, reused uh, with the new battery switch. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take the cables off here and um, this is my first time, so I hope the camera angles and whatnot will work out on our first little experiment here. Uh, first thing we're gonna do, get all these cables out of the way, get this battery switch gone, and uh, seat the new battery switch in place. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, nothing very confusing there. Uh, you see these nuts, how they're recessed into the uh, battery switch here. So if I just finger that from behind while I uh, take my screwdriver on the front side, I won't even need a tool on the back side here. So I'm going to catch this screw and I'm going to put my finger on the back side here. Wham. I can get that screw out of there without even uh, using a tool. We're going to save these bolts and... Um, nuts because our new battery switch obviously is the uh pretty much the same dimensions and everything so we can use the old hardware that makes things nice so again i'm just keeping my finger uh on the nut in the back where it stays in the recessed hole that way i don't have to put a tool on it and uh, they're kind of falling out as i go here last one we're going to be able to pull this battery switch out all right, and that's it. So, pretty quick and simple and easy to uh, swap out this um, switch in this type of uh, installation. We're gonna take our new switch, dual circuit switch, and uh, as you can see, our new switch, our dual circuit switch here has uh, four posts on the back instead of the old school one, only has three. And what this does here, when you turn it to the on position, you're turning on two different sets of batteries, uh, two different batteries without combining them. Um, battery one is connected here, the output goes to this load. Battery two is connected here, the output uh, load is here. So both of these sets of batteries get turned on and make connection to their loads without touching each other. So that's why we call this a dual circuit uh, switch. And uh, like I said, it's, it's gonna give us a much more favorable uh, charging system and setup. Uh, we're gonna go back, put our hardware back in. This is where it's gonna get a little tricky. In fact, if I was smart, I would have probably gone ahead, went ahead and prepped this by putting a dab of super glue on the back and holding these nuts, uh, each one of these nuts here in place. Um, would have made things a little bit easier for me. But that's all right. We're just gonna have to use our dexterity here. So um, I've got my finger holding that nut on the back. 
and that allows me to screw that down. I'm not gonna get it quite tight just yet. I wanna make sure all of uh, everything lines up before I snug them up tight. We're just gonna kinda get them all almost snug. Again, I hope my camera angles are working out here. We're gonna do a lot of experiment to try to start giving you guys some uh, how-to videos. So all the do-it-yourselfers out there hopefully have a good source. And uh, from time to time, we might try to throw in a little entertainment, a little humor. I don't got much for you today, feeling dry because I'm working on a Sunday. That's never fun. Um, but anyway, uh, we're almost finished here. If I can get this last nut. All right. All right, we got that on there. Um, now I've got all four of my bolts in there. It looks straight. Everything looks nice. I'm going to go ahead and snug my bolts up here. Boom. And our new shh. Our new battery switch is in, in place. A new dual circuit battery switch. Out with the old, in with the new. So now we're on the back side again. We're gonna loosen up all our nuts here. Uh, I don't hear my socket wrench making any sound, do you? That's that zero tooth snap on. Mm hmm. Okay, that's about a $120 ratchet. Feels like silk grease lightning in your hands. Um, you know, you do this every day of your life. You gotta have some nice tools. Anyway, we got all our uh, nuts off the back of the battery switch here. Now, um, I'm gonna look at this and we got one and one and two and two. Sometimes you might wanna put a little marker on there or whatever to help yourself out. Um, I think I'm gonna put the batteries on the bottom and the loads on the top, the way everything's falling here. So, um, we're going to put the start battery on post one and the motor cable on the other side of number one of our dual circuit switch. And then on our other side here, we've got our, uh, our new house wire. Uh, that's coming from the house bank. So we're gonna put that on the bottom again. Number two. And um, we're gonna come back and tie wrap our wires up nice and neat on the back side. These are our loads. Uh, so we're gonna put them both onto this uh, lug here. Now, again, what we've done is we have completely separated the house loads from the start. So the start battery and the motor are on either side of number one, and then the house battery and the house loads are on either side of number two. So our motor is now completely isolated uh, there is no other load on the starting battery besides the motor. So no matter what we do with all our accessories, we play the stereo all day at the sandbar, uh, you know, leave our lights on, leave our live wells running, whatever, to the point where it kills the battery, uh, the house battery, we're still going to be able to fire up every single time uh, because our start battery is completely isolated to just the motor now. Now, what we're gonna do to facilitate a charge from the starting battery to the house battery is we're gonna put in our awesome ACR here. Now, I didn't really see a good mounting position in here, and I played around with this a little bit, and it looks like if I move this wire over here, then um, our ACR is gonna fit in the corner of this box. Uh, but we're gonna do some finagling with wires. And then, basically, all we have to do is we have uh, two studs on our ACR. One side goes to the house bank uh, batteries. The other side goes to the starting bank of batteries. Uh, or your start, you know, if you just have one, one start battery, one house battery. And this thing's going to automatically regulate the charge uh, available from the engine at all times. Uh, so we're just going to have two leads. One's going to go to the start battery stud. One's going to go to the house battery stud. And... Uh, We'll come back and show you that while we're when we're done. 
uh, for now, I've run out of time. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this uh, actually works out for us here.